Good evening one and all. We now come to the last story in this elven trilogy from the Brothers Grimm. In the first story, some very nice elves made shoes for poor shoemaker. In our second tale, the enigmatic elves kidnapped the young maid for seven years but not before compensating her for her future troubles. What will happen in this story? Well, you kill us over the final in this tale of... The Elves and the Changeling. What's the Changeling? Let's find out. A certain mother's child had been taken away out of his cradle by the elves, and a changeling with a large head and staring eyes which do nothing but eat and drink lay in his place. In her trouble, she went to her neighbor and asked her advice. The neighbor said that she was to carry the changeling into the kitchen, set it down on the hearth, light a fire, and boil some water in two eggshells, which would make the changeling laugh, and if he laughed, all would be over with him. The woman did everything that her neighbor bade her. When she put the eggshells with water on the fire, the imp said, I am as old now as a wish the forest, but never yet have I seen anyone boil the eggshell. <laughs> and he began to laugh at it. Whilst he was laughing, suddenly came a host of little elves who brought the right child, set it down a hearth, and took the changeling away with them. Well, at least those many little imps gave the young babe back. So, apparently, a changeling is a malformed, lazy creature that does nothing but drinks and eats. How nice. As discussed before, modern elves are shown as elegant and noble thanks to Tolkien. But back in Europe centuries ago, these tiny men and women were anything but. These stories are meant to reflect the unpredictability and danger not only inherent in the natural world itself but also in everyday social interactions too. Much like us, the elves have agency and they can easily choose whether to help or harm, sometimes without any justification. The uncertainty and danger of real life is very much reflected in these age-old tales. As such, centuries later, these stories still make for good bedtime reads provide good lessons to learn, and serve as useful cautionary tales. That's all for the elves, but that won't be all for the Grimms. You kiddos can expect more great tales from them. Now, as always, it is time for the storyteller to go back with the elves. As they say in Germany, Auf Wiedersehen, Gute Nacht, and God bless.